Okay, so if you've been following my channel, you know that I switched from Windows to a Mac system to produce and ever since then I have like it, it was a whole shift because I've always been using Windows and this is is an M1 MacBook Air as you can see <laughs> clearly but yeah I'm planning on maybe getting a MacBook Pro but I, I have some problems with this MacBook Air in terms of how I use it with the equipment that I have here because these MacBook Airs do not have enough ports that I need because if you look here it's got these two USB-C or Thunderbolt ports these two here and it doesn't really have like enough ports for me to connect everything because all my Equipment they use USB and I even uh, like if I'm filming and if I want to copy stuff into the computer I need like a, like a memory card reader or something like that So that's kind of what the, the one problem that I have but I'm gonna share with you how I connect everything Everything else works fine like the power of the M1 chip that's inside is amazing the RAM, I could definitely use more RAM because I've got 8 gigs in here, but I could definitely do better with like 16 gigabytes of RAM because the, my previous computer had 16 gigabytes of RAM, but uh, this is 8 gigabytes of RAM. But I haven't really gotten any problems as of yet. It's only when I was like doing a screen recording as I was making music when I had an issue because I'm screen recording and I'm also making music and running like a really big plugins as I'm making music. That's when I started to feel like some stutter. But when it comes to just normal operation and things like that it works fluid it works perfect it's totally fine I enjoy using this computer but if, if I do get a MacBook Pro I'm definitely gonna maybe get a 16 gig version I think that would be super dope but anyway let me show you how I connect the few components that I connect here like the equipment that I have over here so here are all the cables that I use to connect now you can see all these cables it's like a lot of them it's like four of them that I I, I have to connect on this computer here right uh, but I'm just gonna exclude this one here because this is the charger charger cable so it does just you know go into the laptop like that and then it just you know it charges but I'm just gonna leave it out for now but the things that I want to connect are my monitor which is this HDMI cable and then these two USBs which which is my audio interface and also my MIDI keyboard which is the MIDI keyboard that is right here so the first thing that sometimes I use is this hub here so it's got this USB-C or Thunderbolt that it has on the, this side and then it has multiple ports of USB here and then it also has another one there so I can connect these USBs like this like boom and then I just connect it right here like that and then everything connects. I think you heard that sound when the speakers made that sound. So then I can just connect the USBs, but now I cannot connect my monitor to this whole setup. So that's one problem that I still, you know, need to sort out. And that's where this adapter comes in, this one. So this is actually dope. I actually bought this used because I did. The, a new one was super expensive, bro. So let me disconnect this one. So I bought this one used because it has multiple ports on it. So uh, over here, it's got an HDMI. Like you can see, it's got an HDMI right there, but it outputs 4K at 30 Hertz. It doesn't output 60 Hertz. And that's a problem. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need to see how I can find one that can do 4K at 60 Hertz because 30 Hertz is kind of slow, man. Your eyes kind of adjust to it, but it's, it's slow. But as you see on this side here, like let me show you the inputs, uh, it, uh, how it connects to the computer. It's got these two, right? Which is the two that are on the side here. So I connect these two on the laptop like, like that. And then, then I have these two on these sides here which means i can still charge and i can still connect another like uh, another usb thing i can even connect this one on here if i want to on this usb c and then i can just do that so that that's how sometimes i like to extend the cables that i have but then you can see that here there's usb 3 and then there's another usb 3 and you can tell it's usb 3 because you know they've got the blue inside here and then i also have the sd card card readers in there because you have a micro sd and then you have the bigger sd card right there so this is how i connect like the memory cards if i want to get stuff from sd cards like maybe from a camera or anything like that but i also did buy this one here which is like an all-in-one card reader as well which is really cool as well so you can see it's got the smaller ones here where i can connect like smaller stuff and then the bigger ones where i can connect bigger stuff and it's also usb so i can just also connect it 
like this on this one here or I can just connect it directly to this just like that and then it connects like that so then USB to USB so that's how I connect so I connect it on the side like this boom and then there it connects it's nice it's super neat I like how it looks right here on the side and then I can connect the HDMI like this okay let me connect that then I can connect connect the HDMI so that the the monitor goes on so you can see the monitor is on right now and the laptop is also on at the same time so then I can have two screens at the same time so that's pretty cool and then after that I just connect these two USBs so then I connect this first USB for my audio interface and then this next USB so now you can see my MIDI keyboard lighting up like that so I can use everything so there you can see everything is on my audio interface is on right now you can tell that it's on because I can you know show you that it's on I can use it so my audio interface is on my MIDI keyboard is also on as well I can just do this and show you that it's on and then my monitors are also on because they're connected to my audio interface and then everything is on like the monitor is on and the laptop is on as well so I have all these ports that's how I connect everything that I have here it's like a minimal setup but I love it it works well I don't have too much going on but I still have to figure out the best way that I can connect this vacuum tube that I have here so watch out for the for a video when I figure out how to properly connect it into the system and how I can integrated to the system if you have any questions make sure to drop them down below i'd love to hear your thoughts how do you connect your equipment in your studio but anyways i'll see you in my next video i'm x and i'm out peace